Hello YouTube. Um I just gotta get a couple of things off my chest. You know so many things that's been going on for the past couple of months. You know, actually since the beginning of the year. But let me start off by um this is just random things that's going on. Um last month I saw a man get hit by a car, was killed on the way to work. Um, these tornadoes, there's 200 something tornadoes that hit last month and just recently over like last weekend or so, this tornado hit and you know, my family was affected but thank God they still alive, they still trying to recover. Um, you know, and then things I'm going through at work, but, um, anyway, let me talk about the petty thing that happened, um, Sunday, Sunday night, early Monday morning, me and my husband get off work, so, we decided to go to Chicken Shack, we got off the bus, and this female, her daughter, now this particular female my husband met from back in the day, you know, they used to go to college together. But, you know, she's not too bright. And, you know, they try to have a thing going on back then, but it didn't work out. So, anyway, she had to work on our job, too, and her daughter. But, anyway, we, me and my husband decided to go to the chicken shack. So, we was walking straight. And to get to the chicken shack, you had to, um, you had to make a left turn. We thinking they're going to go straight to catch the bus, right? Because I remember the daughter was saying the bus was coming. So, we turned the corner. They turned the corner real fast. And, and the friend my husband knew back in the day was like, oh, let me find out y'all going to the chicken shack. You know, like some ghetto behind stuff. So, okay. They follow us to the chicken shack. Because I'm going to call it like it is. They follow us to the chicken shack. They basically didn't really get... I don't even think they got anything. They was basically just standing there the whole time. They didn't order anything. They just watched us order. Just standing there watching us and whatnot. I'm like, babe, okay, don't say nothing to her, don't say nothing to her. He was like, I want to say something about her. Don't say nothing to her. Don't say it. Don't even say it. It's a waste of time. So, um, I kind of think they trying to be funny because, you know, I'm a plus size woman. And people that's plus size, you know, some of the challenges we got, you know, some of the things, ignorant stuff people do and look things that they say, the actions and things like that. We all we all know what that's all about. They was basically there, I believe, watching what we we're getting so they go back and report to the um other folks or whatever. Cause, you know, whoever don't like me, I don't care. Cause it was like ever since I got married, well me and my husband we both got married, it's like Folks start changing up. People changed up on him. You know, me. I don't really care because it's like, you know, you don't like me, you don't like me. I'm there to do a job. And my weight doesn't affect my job at all. So. But, let me get on to the story. So, that was basically there just watching us, watching what we was getting and stuff. It's like. Me and my husband, we had a discussion about it. I was like, she really need to get it like. But she has some old other issues. I don't want to get into that, huh? Her daughter or whatever. But anyway. That's that one. And they came out the chicken shack like with like a drink or something. Like one item. Something to drink or something. So I was like, oh, so they was there watch, like following us, watching us. Oh, okay. We got some stalkers. But anyhow, and you know, 
It's so much that me and my husband been like, we've been married for about, it'll be three years in September, and we already like was facing some little many challenges. But you know, thank God we're hanging on in there. Um, marriage isn't easy, it's not going to be easy, but you know. But, you know, I, I thank God for my husband. I really do. I thank God for him. Um, God made him just for me, and God made me just for him. So I really truly believe that. But I was telling my husband, I said, they want what we have. And they don't realize they could have that. But the way they're going about things, they're never going to achieve that. They're not, they, they're not going to have a good person in their life acting the way they do. Why are you so concerned about our life and what we getting what, down to what we're eating and where we're going when you can let God do a work on you so your husband could, so he could send your husband to you. But anyway, instead of having these boyfriends at almost 47 years old. But anyhow, um, it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm trying not to let these things aggravate me. Life is too short to try to let folks get on my nerves. And the thing about it is they don't know what's really going on with us. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. And, you know, all this little nitpicking stuff, it's like, whatever. You know, life goes on. You know, I'm going to pray for you. Pray you get your mind right. And I'm going to move on. Do me. Anyway. And this been Latin thing. Uh, as far as it's been Latin. When I first heard he died, I'm going to honestly say I wasn't really surprised or nothing. It was like, I see it for me. I had to see it to believe it. That was the first thing come on my mind. I have to see it to believe it. Because it's like, I don't know. It's like the government playing so many games. I, I don't, it's like I got to see it to believe it. When, um, Hussein was home, I saw that. That was on for YouTube. I saw that. So I said, oh yeah, he dead. So I actually saw the footage. But Osama, I think that's weird. That okay, he was killed, and then not even 12 hours after they announced he was killed, he's dumped that sea. Something was fishy about that. So, I don't know. You know, people jumping in late, starting some USA, USA. You know, I know it's. I had to see it to believe it. I'm sorry. I mean. And then there's war over in Libya. It's just talks about it's supposed to be a third world war. And they, and they bring it back to draft. I mean, come on. Times are really getting hard out here to be really worrying about the petty stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, I'll get that later. But, um... And I'm praying for these people because they they, they they so much in La La Land on their own little world that they don't really understand what's really happening. And we have to really be prepared. I mean, we have to like stock up on water, food, um, first aid. You know, because times times are really gonna start getting worse, and tornado season ain't even over yet. It's just beginning. There's gonna be more tornadoes hitting those areas, and you know, I'm in the east, so it probably be more rain. So it's no tell more earthquakes. We have to really be prepared. You know what I'm saying? 
And I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really praying for these people that they get their minds together and they open their eyes and get out of reality, um, La La Land, get out of the Matrix, and step into the real world because it's gonna become tumbling down on their world so fast they don't know what hit them. To be the world about, you know, the petty doing the petty stuff about you trying to see somebody what they eating and who they wear and what. If we go, and our marriage is okay. I mean, come on. I mean, stupid stuff. I haven't even had an ignorant manager that try to say, come up to my husband, try to say he hit on me. What? You don't even know me for us from Adam. And I'm like, oh my God. Because my husband, he's, you know, <clears throat> he's not saying I'm mean. I'm the type of person, I just don't take no nonsense. I'm nice when you get to know me. But I just don't take no nonsense. And what we work at, my husband, he, you know, he's a talker. He like to speak to everybody. He see you, oh, hi, so-and-so, hi, so-and-so. He speaks to everybody. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you got people that take advantage of that. They take advantage of your night. You know, they take nicer for weakness. And what they normally do and not school them on this, they normally try to find what his interest. They talk about his interest. And then they sneak, you know, they start saying a messed up comment. They'll sneak that in. That's what that manager did. He thought, oh, start talking about sports. And then, oh, you're not beating up on your wife, are you? You just snuck that in. Excuse me? You know, and I was telling him, you just got to watch that. Just watch that. Because, you know, there's a lot of snakes in there. Anyway. Um, but I mean, in these times, you you better really have a strong faith in God. I mean, really, I mean, know God for yourself. Some of these churches are corrupted. They all about the money, the almighty dollar now. Some of them is like deep into politics. They ain't even about God no more. They, you know. <clears throat> I even seen some preachers preach about so money so much. They barely open their Bibles. If you notice that. And if they do read scriptures, normally it's scripture about money. You know, but. We really got to get to that in this B system, the system of the government. And it's, it's ironic how his death was announced right after the, the royal wedding. That's just, it's crazy. It's craziness. And I believe it's going to be more craziness to come. I'm like, Lord, what is next? Soon as this year started, it was all these earthquakes. Um, all these different things going on in the world. Somebody, a couple of um, just like late last month, got shot and killed. When me and my husband wanted to take the bus set, they laid off all these police officers over here. You know, a few of my friends got laid off that I know that was on the fourth. So crime was is at an all time high. Um, the new police director, he don't, he took a job in Chicago. He left after, I know he can't, couldn't wait to get out of this city. Um, pretty soon I think it's going to be martial law. Martial law isn't going to be in effect. People better wake up. Pretty soon, before you know it. They gonna start issuing out curfews and things like that for for <clears throat> people better wake up, wake up. And me and my husband, we gonna we starting our own um, stocking up. We gonna start off on like supplies, things we could get from the dollar store at first, and um, bottled water. 
um, non-perishable foods. I mean, then it's talk about how some of the radiation is getting in the food. And I already know about them putting fluoride, up, fluoride in our water. They even said it on the news. They even admit to it. So it's like, damn, we can't even drink the water anymore. And we need water to live. Well, this is just some of the things that's going on that I've been thinking about. Um, take care of yourselves and God bless you.